Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome travel trailer from one of our favorite manufacturers. This one has double slide outs in the living room and it's perfect for couples. This is a 2022 East to West Ulta model 28 KIK. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then we're gonna give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at this ultra lightweight Ulta with the double slide outs kitchen island. But before I begin, Gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. ramping up, aren't we? We are, we are getting ready for the Hershey Show next week, guys. And um, we don't represent Alta, and we can't really help with Alta at the store, but of course, we're here at Elijah's store, and he will price match, or hopefully even price beat, anything you see at the show. Yes, and if you guys don't know who Elijah is, he's the GM of That's RV1 right. of Charleston. Charleston. Yes, sir, so if you guys like this unit, make sure you give him a call. That's right. We'll talk to Elijah a little bit later, but Will, Let's begin. All right. Model is East to West Alta 28 KIK. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer, sir, is 33 feet 8 inches. The dry weight 7,228 pounds and the hitch weight 797 pounds. Now, Will, I call this a lightweight trailer. And you're probably saying, Matt, are you crazy or something? That's heavy for the size of it. Right. Lightweight. You know right. What I'm Right up here is very nice. You got a power tongue jack. I like how they added this little bag. Yeah. Waterproof and you know what I'm saying? Right here we got a um, propane tank and your batteries go right there. This is a nice molded fiberglass front cap. Very grand design, imagine light. Even looks it with the paint colors and everything. East to west, black and white paint, looks good. They got the stickers and decals on the side. Yes. It says east to west, it's pretty nice. Coming on down the side here, Will. We do got these sideways swinging slam latch doors. Definitely my favorite. I much prefer this. Really nice doors right there. Fantastic and awesome. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Unfortunately though, that slide out is taking away from the awning space. This is an east to west Alta, which means it does have the extreme climate package, which is a heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And they use Asdell for the sidewall composite. Right. So. If you're not using Astel, you're using Luon. Luon's a woody glue material, and whenever there's a leak, wood separates or expands, and then that's how you get that delamination on the side of the fiberglass. Right. Astel, that won't happen. And then right here, Will, is these nice Morite solid steps. Nice grab, grab handle, grab handle. <laughs> nice grab handle here. And right here, we do have a place for you to leash up your furry friend. It looks like a toolbox right there too. Ah, it is a toolbox under there. That's I love cool. that. You're gonna need your tools. You're camping. That's right. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear tires. I love those. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. And well, yeah. On that transcend, it was a Goodyear sticker. Could have been, yeah. It definitely was. Coming on right here, exterior TV mount. Oh, uh, we do got coax and power for the outside. Very nice. And then here, look at this nice handle. Oh man, we got a nice little outside kitchen there. Cool. Very nice. We got a little refrigerator. And then we got this gray tone, gray stone cooktop. Very nice. Yes, sir. A nice little outside kitchen. Yeah. You can never go wrong with that. And then coming around the back, Will, we do got a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Didn't cheap out. Still gave right. you good here. A little spray port right there. Furion backup camera right there. And well, it does have a one piece TPO roof. We're not going to climb up it today, but it has two AC units, uh, Furion AC units. Okay. And then right over here, Will, Will, we're too close to the Hershey show. That's right. We made it to September. You can't I can't risk it. I mean, it's too much of a liability. That's Somebody right. like me climbing up on the roof. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, right here it says 50 amp, but Will, this definitely looks like a 30 amp. Yep. But the little thing says 50 amp. We'll find out on the inside. Okay. Uh, right here is the electric stabilizing jacks from Lipper. Love that. Yes. And then coming on down, Will. Up oh, there's uh, 
there's the sewer connection. Okay, right let's see if there. we can see it here. Right there, not too bad. Not too shabby, sir. Right here is another place to dump. You got your black tank flush here. 10 gallon water heater right there, very nice. And then here's the other side of that storage wheel, and I love this. Outdoor shower, city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. Battery disconnect and everything. And then watch this. I love those doors. Yeah. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Take a look, sir. All right, starting up front. Nice bedroom up here. Bathroom in the middle. And then living area, dining, and kitchen in the rear. Where are we starting today? Hang on, sir. Okay. Two AC units. Maybe we're just being stupid, Will. Maybe it is. Maybe okay. that is the right. And then it's four prong. I'm trying to think. That's probably, it's probably 50 amp. Oil. Yeah. We're probably, we're probably just not overthinking it. You know what it is? We're thinking about Hershey's, the greatest place on earth. Right. Before we begin, well, this floor plan is absolutely amazing. Guys, if you haven't signed up for the Lippert Scouts app, you guys heard us talking about it. Sign up for Lippert Scouts. It was a Facebook group. Now it's an app. You can join on your phone. Download it. Tell them Matt's RV review sent you. It's phenomenal. Will. Yeah. I'm not on my game. Okay. People are looking at me right now. WTF, Matt. What's going on? This, I'm like analyzing this floor plan. This is great. It is. It really this is. This is great. And you know what we're doing, Will? What? You're starting first. Okay. Kitchen's in the back, so. Well, well, I mean, this is technically part of the kitchen with the countertop. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll just start over here. Nice Fury on soundbar, window here, televator. Let's see if we can find Well, this. no, 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 Will. Don't, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't do the TV. That's my job. Okay. You're just talking about the countertop space. Yeah, multi-use counter space here. Yeah. Fireplace and everything. Yes. But no, that is really nice because you know, I mean, it's decent counter space actually, but you can never have enough. A little high point microwave here. All right. Storage up top. Okay. Greystone range hood here. Hood range. Nice window on your camping side. And then the three burner Greystone cooktop as well. Drawer right here. Wow. And oven there. Perfect. On the back, you got the ever chill refrigerator here. Wow, nice. Already cooling. Oh yeah. And fridge down below, right there. Nice, sir. And then right here, some of the highlights to the Altus. Yep. Very nice. Pantry space here, couple drawers. Yes. And you even have a nice big drawer under here. And, and can't forget the doggy bowls. For you, and Tucker. That's right. And then look at this, we got a kitchen island. Huge kitchen island, yes. Yes, sir. Um, nice little spray faucet, single bowl sink. I kind of like how they did this with the uh, faucet to the side. You know, it just gives you more room here to, to cook. Makes sense. But it's different. Not everybody may like that. Couple drawers here, some storage, and a couple more drawers. And then, well, what, what do we got going on there? Kind of yeah, looks like a desk is, area or something. Yeah, this is kind of like a desk area. I, I guess you could use it as like a little coffee bar. Yeah. Um, but storage up top here for more kitchen stuff. Nice desk, power USB window, storage in a great spot to sit. And then like you set up a little chair there. Yeah, yeah. it's like a little little desk office area. That's right. And then right over here, Will, the dinette. Look how nice this looks. This looks comfortable. We got a big drawer there. Yeah. Another big drawer here. Let me show America. Okay. Right, nice flush floor. Yeah, I love also, that. Also, there was no uh, floor vents. Right. Check out these valances, very nice. Slow rise shade, nice little art deco right there. Comfortable. Art deco? Oh, no. Oh. It is comfortable, Will. Fat boy tested, fat boy approved. Plenty yes. of space. This drops down and makes a bed. Love all the windows here. Love the natural light. They're really killing it with this dinette. And uh, the cushions is actually comfortable as well. And it looks nice. Look at the cushions. Right. Kind of like a two tone color. Yep. Really, really good. And then over here, Will. It's the theater seats, the Allure collection. Very nice. Oh man, and then with the double slide out, you got yep. all the space in the world. Cup holders here. Here's where you keep your remotes. Really nice. 
you have a nice clock on the wall there. Clock's right twice a day. That's right. And it's just a comfortable sofa. And then again, we are looking directly across at the countertop extension that's also the entertainment center. Yeah. This is a very dumb spot for, like, look at how I gotta push this. Yeah. You wanna even stay in here like this? And it's slow. And the battery's dying, I think. Uh oh. There you go. Great, now we can watch TV. Look, that's a great name, Attitude, because you're gonna have an attitude putting this up and down every time you wanna watch <laughs> TV. You got your sound bar there, nice little fireplace, and a little nook for storage right there. Okay. Very nice, Will, and I love this open concept. And then let's touch on this. Look at this, uh, what's it called, chair rail or whatever? Yeah. Very nice, beautiful unit. East to West always does a phenomenal job with the interior decor. That's right. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. Let's kick it over to Elijah, general manager at Harvey One of Charleston. See what he has on this. Elijah, what is the MSRP of the Ulta 2810? It's $62,191. Sale price? $46,800 on a travel trailer. <laughs> on a east to west Ulta. And guys, if you're interested in this and you live anywhere near the Charleston, South Carolina area, Elijah's the general manager of the store. Elijah, how do people get in contact with you? Just call the store, 843-900-2140. By the way, we're less than 10 minutes from the airport, so you don't even have to live near the Charleston area. Come and pick it up from all over the country. Well, I mean, you do need a truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but we sell more arms. Yes, so whatever you need. truck here. Again, or he can transport it for you. We'll figure exactly. it out, guys. If you like this trailer, give Elijah a call. Make sure you tell him you watch Matt's RV reviews. All right, Will. It's now time for the bathroom test. All right. Let's check her out. Nice, simple button here. Buttons is right there as well. All right, how does it feel? Yeah, this actually is pretty good. Look at that There's head a small height. Ste step up, but still great head height. Good width and actually good depth. You know, plenty of room to get in here. Nice. Good curtain. This definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. Not only that, you got these place to put towels there. Yep. And then over here, Sir William, we got a nice medicine cabinet. Yep. All right. Nice little sink here. Okay. Sink in the corner, right, in the yep. middle side. And then toilet in the corner right here. Porcelain. Is that in the way? Mm. I think that's in the way. Let, you gotta do it, Will. Okay. I'm calling in the judge. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean, it's like doable, but it's awkward. I don't you know think we I mean? can pass it, Will. Yeah, I don't think so either. We're not going to pass it. Exactly. It's doable for poopable, but we're not going to pass the prime pooping position. Because, oh man, look at that, y'all. That is so nice. That is. But uh, yeah, I mean, the foot placement to where the shower is, it's just quite frankly unacceptable. You want to you wanna shut that or we just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. It. Perfect. And then coming on here in the bedroom. Looks like we got a TV backer right over here. Yep. And then here, just storage. Okay. Okay. No washer dryer prep? No, not in here. Two AC units. Yeah. And then check out this storage here. Okay. Same thing up here. Yes. Here. Got some drawers there. Yeah. Nice power USB and a little nook over there. Yeah. Nice bed area. King bed, of course, because it's an east to west. Right, so the beds are north to south bed in the east to west. That is funny. But uh, yes, it is a king size bed, which is very nice. And then this. Oh, the flip up. Yeah. Yep, and then we got some storage underneath. Yeah, see, this doesn't even. It's supposed to. The other side came off. Oh, it did? Oh, okay. Drawers right there. And then more storage right there. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before we leave, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit. Three things we just don't like about it. Will, what did we do first? Three things we 
dislike. Yes. May I go first? Sure. Don't like this flip up bed. Yeah. A lot of other manufacturers do flip up beds. They do a lot better job. This, it flips up. You still need to crawl underneath the bed. Right. It's like, what's the point of the flip up? Like, there was another brand. It flipped up, and it's like you're able to get changed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not a fan of that. Never have been, never will be. I'm not a fan of that. Okay. That's dislike number one. Well, dislike number two. Um, I had something good. Oh, you did. I thought I did. Maybe it was a light, though. Well, while you think of it, I can do number two. Okay. I am actually not a huge fan of that outside kitchen. Yeah. Because look at all the storage that it's taken away. Inside, yeah. That's number two. And then, well, number three, I got it. Okay. If you don't. Go ahead. The awning. Right. This oh, that's up. what it was. I wish they had put the awning over some. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I agree. That awning, you're not getting a ton of awning space because the slide out takes up your awning yep. space. Well, that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this unit. May I go first? Sure. Again? You guys know we love this about east to west. I mean, can you get mad at a king size bed? Right. Never. We'll lay up in there for America. Okay. America wants to see. Guys, Will is six foot three. Not only did he have plenty of space in that shower, look at that bed. He sleeps like a bear, <laughs> like a teddy bear. Huge bed, king size bed. And again, somebody like Will always has trouble in RVs, so I love that. Yep. That's number one. Will, number two? For mine, I'm gonna say these nice big windows here. Yes. Huge windows letting in lots Huge. of natural light. Yes. I'm gonna combo that, Will. The natural light hitting the colors in here. Yep. Again, as simple as the uh, coloring the wall. Yep. It looks good, it looks nice, absolutely fantastic. And then, Will, I do have a number third. Okay. Little desk area. Yeah, that's Smart. cool. So many people are working from the road. They really are. So many people are turning their dinettes into their office areas. Yep. Why not just set a little office area right here? I agree. Love that. Love how East to West is thinking about that. They did a great job. Something else we didn't mention. Look at all these power outlets yeah. everywhere. Power outlets are very, very important. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we hope to see everybody next week at the Hershey RV Show which is the greatest RV show in the world. Jen, please show us on the map where we're gonna be. And if you guys were at the Hershey RV show last year, we are at the same exact spot in a bright orange Matt's RV Reviews 10. We hope to meet each and every one of you guys there and uh, hope to hang out and have a great time. That's all right. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, guys, we're looking forward to seeing you all at the Hershey RV show so much. Again, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody so much you. for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.